Hello, my name is Joanne Knight. I want to do a quick little barn buddy for you showing drag and drop and some of the shortcut keys that you can use with a pattern to make them easier to place on the screen. So I'm going to go to a block that I have quilted in my Southern Pearls quilt and show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to take this pattern right here and I'm going to drag it on to my computer screen. Now it comes in really large and the reason it comes in large is because my picture is so small. But what I want to show you is if I touch the space bar on my keyboard, on my computer keyboard, this pattern will rotate around which makes it so easy. One hand is on the mouse and the other hand is on the space bar rotating the pattern. If I press the X key, then that flips the pattern horizontal. You see it change? And if I press the Y key, then that flips the pattern vertical. So that makes it really easy for you to place a pattern and pull it in on the screen, on the computer screen, to be able to see what you want to do with it. And it's just a, a quick action to me and so much better than pattern to boundary. If I select this pattern, which is the one that I was talking about that goes in this little triangle right here, I can, because it's the selected pattern, I can change the angle to a 45 and hit enter, and that automatically puts that pattern on an angle, which fits perfectly here, but say I want it to go in this triangle. Just simply touching my keyboard moves that pattern around, and now I can pull it right into place just like this. The other thing that I want you to notice is if I need it to rotate just the slightest little bit, I can hit the minus key, and I'm not sure you can see it, but it's just rotating just the slightest little bit which gives me a distinct advantage in placing patterns. Let me move it right here. You see my grid lines? You're going to be able to see that pattern shift a little bit on those grid lines, and that makes it a little bit easier for you to see and is just a real help. This X right here will delete the pattern, and this I at the bottom left will give me the pattern properties and tell me what size it is. It will give the designer information right here if there is a designer macro in there. So I'm going to hit save and close, an easy way to place patterns on the screen without using pattern to boundary. Thank you.